time, it wasn't the missile itself that was the center of attraction at Cape Canaveral, the Redstone is quite a missile. It was Ham that stole the headline, Ham being the chimp they were going to send into space. They reckoned that if he could stand the strain, perhaps a man could in a later experiment. Rockets have been known to go wrong, of course, but Redstone is a very special one, the same kind that will be used to launch man into space. So as the chimp started on his adventure by being put into the rocket, he was getting as much care as if he were a human being. Ham was on his way up now to be placed in the space capsule at the top of the 83-foot missile. A man stood by to notify the firing crew when the chimp's container was properly fixed. Within seconds now would begin one of the crucial experiments of space travel. Ham had often been in his container before, but this time it was the real thing. hundred percent success so far. This was the first stage of the rocket's flight, with the booster roaring away and behaving perfectly. And off falls the booster, and little Ham is hurtling at 5,000 miles an hour and subjected to forces 16 times greater than gravity. Out in the Atlantic, the destroyer Ellison had spotted the capsule's parachute descent into the water. It had hurtled 155 miles through space and gone 40 miles higher than was intended. And now, a helicopter brought the capsule containing ham onto the deck of a landing ship dock. Was the chimp still alive? They'd soon know. If heartfelt wishing could make him safe, he'd be all right. Now those seconds dragged out. The watchers, it seemed as though they'd never get the container open. But they did. And yes, there was ham, alive and apparently none the worse for it. Little ham had earned a place in the history of science the chimp that took man a stage further in the exploration of space.